the peddling of conspiracy theories has long fractured the American reality. Charlie Wurzel of the New York Times released an op-ed today subtitled, For years, professional grifters, trolls, true believers, and political opportunists have sowed conspiratorial lies. We are now witnessing the reaping. So he lists five conspiracy theories from the last week that have resulted in American loss of life, from fraudulent elections to QAnon to anti-vaxxing. The news media can do great good here, and they can also do great harm. The Washington Times reporting that facial recognition software has identified Antifa members among yesterday's protesters. Fox News featuring an interview with former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, alleging that misinformation abounds and that Antifa was responsible for yesterday's actions. Representative Matt Gates of Florida picked up these ideas to argue on the floor of the House that it was Antifa, not pro-Trump's protesters or supporters or whatever we call them, who just violently stormed the Capitol. He used speculations from once trusted media sources to deny a reality that everyone in the room had witnessed firsthand. So after all that, what fills me with hope? Maybe, maybe this is a turning point. Maybe with Confederate flags waving over the Capitol, the willful destruction of a monument to our democracy, and several people dead, we may finally mark a turning point. Music.